So you wait to after the um, to after this the one works room. best with pending orders. All right, we'll wait to see how oh, close okay. close to the news. We'll see the next about five minutes to ten. We'll see how this candle is behaving, and then we'll see how we can set the pending orders if we get the opportunity to. Euro AUD, you can get a law of the day, and then I said Euro NZD, if they establish a good law, you can get a good law of the day for a buy opportunity as well. Yep, so, but I feel Euro AUD is gonna give us something out of that law. If the setup is nice. No setup here. that candle is going to close I don't know how far that candle is going to close
can't remember use potential for a buy for that one as well. Yeah, Maybe. these spikes here, uh, just give it a little bit of time. We need to get a confirmed candle that you can be able to recognize. I'm not too sure about these candles here. Yeah. All right, but we have a morning star here, first leg, pull back, market is accumulating contracts. So we'll wait for this leg for a confirmed right. candle here and then we'll make a decision. Same thing with Euro AUD. Euro AUD is set up differently. This candle closes a bullish engulfing candle. The risk can be accepted, and then you see how much, see how much you can be able to get out of the market. Back at what, least I find, back to this high here. what I find interesting is like this news that it looked like all the peers. All the they buy opportunities. Right, GBP AUD and then GBP GBP AUD and then GBP um, I mean Euro AUD. Accept the risk and let your fate be decided by the dealers. Any short term pullback, see how you can take it back up. Short term. Euro NZD. Any little pullback, your entry will be made. Try it, try it out. You're risking that much. 18 pips. Target is highs here. Probably yesterday's highs.
little pull back here is gives you the benefit to see where you can take put your risk and you targeting at least back to the Asian, middle of the Asian range. Hello? Can you mm -hmm. hear me? Yeah. Okay, sorry, I just I just joined again. Mm -hmm. uh, did um did you have to look at uh EUR Euro A A D Euro the bearish engulfing candle, a bullish engulfing candle. <laughs> the pattern is here on the second leg. Right? So it's the question is you want to risk here your stop loss goes below here so that those are the questions that you need to ask got it got up where where is going to be your entry where are you going to put your stop loss yeah right if it sounds better put your stop loss there see how that one moves let your target be at least let's see eight pips they can even go up to these highs here now this you don't consider the second entry I because I know you you level them. You say high risk. Go ahead. Yeah, this is a Go type ahead. three. This is a type type two buy opportunity. A price does not break below the Asian range. It just accumulate contract within the Asian range. Because here market will have spiked up, spiked down, take orders in both sides. Right. And 
the um, GBP AUD. Right, the risk can be accepted at the pullback of this candle here. This is the pattern inside that range. Right, you can accept the risk and let the dealers prove you right or wrong. Euro AUD has pulled off. If it pulls off, they come back to these levels here. That will be much, 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 much better. Alright, and then we are looking at Euro USD for that risk. Golf in Kando, pull back, then take it when back up bullish. And you're done trading. It's about being patient, waiting and waiting and waiting. You're not gonna win a hundred percent all the time, but when you stay patient, you will get it. that move it's another beautiful day right another beautiful winning day I lost $100 I've gained $700 You took the trade? Yeah, I took the trade. Good. You took Euro or GJ? I mean GU. I took Euro USD. Alright. It's about... I want you to write it down and say I'm only looking for the second leg of M's and W. Mm -hmm. okay. Type 1 setup. Anything else? Anything else is just hogwash. You're not interested. 
whether it's a type 3 or whether they contract during the Asia, they have accumulated contract during London and during New York, what are they going to do? And then they have moved 200 pips. Are they going to continue selling, having moved 200 pips for the day? No, they are going. And then GBP AUD. You see that? Still a win. So even if I got, I got it wrong on card, on Euro USD. For you, you have it at yesterday's highs. Yes. This is where I have. It. I don't know whether they will get back to those levels, but this is where I have it because I, ha I have, I have four positions on it. So I've taken all the partials. I've left one remaining. <laughs> So we wait. If you got any your partials, you can call it a day. Or keep holding it and see how far they'll be able to take you. So Euro USD yep. is a good, is a is a profitable day. Mm -hmm. And uh GBP AUD, it's a profitable day. Mm -hmm. And then um Euro AUD, it's a profitable day. And mm -hmm done trading if they continue going back up that is an extra pips they are going to give you so always remember sometimes they don't pull they mm. don't mitigate that bearish and golf bullish and golf in kind of fully like how you would have wanted it so you just have to figure out where where are they going to give me the profits from for, for taking partials, meaning that you put the stop loss to... No, to I just come out. Because I had, for example, in Euro USD, uh -huh. Euro USD, I took three positions yeah. at this price entry here. So the three positions went up into profit. So I took out two positions. I closed off two positions completely. Right, I leave I leave one running. So if that one continue running, just in case this market pulls out, either stop me at a break even, I will still be, I will end the day in net profit. Okay, then Machachi, I think I call it a day. It's already almost going to be 11. Yeah. Thank you very much, Chachi. Thank you. I think it's almost 11 in the night for you. Yeah, yeah. I just, just got back from work also. So really tired today. We'll, we'll work on swing trading. for Swing trading will work best for you. The trading and the yeah. timing will be a little bit off. But we'll get to see how once the market structures. If you get a good swing or trading opportunity, it's something you can be able to invest on. But let's oh, see how it. the market is unfolding. You had a call today, is it, for the swing trading? No, I didn't really do what I wanted to do because uh, I didn't have enough quorum. So mm. uh, I said I